for education. How y'all doing today? Yeah. I was out here with a bunch of you all uh, last November 15th. There were thousands of people out here. Who was out here that night? There were thousands of people here. Now we have slightly less numbers. But we have umbrellas. And we have, we have justice in our hearts and we have liberation in our minds and this is how we move forward. Movements don't just happen. They need to be built. And they come, they go, they rise, they fall, but we keep building and fuck the rain because we're out here. And I'm coming he here from Oakland and I gotta tell you that there's hundreds and maybe thousands or I don't know how many folks that are meeting right now at Laney College in Oakland and they're gonna be marching with all the community colleges and high school students and teachers and to meet up with you all later this afternoon so know that this is a joint struggle with teachers and workers and parents and all of us to transform education. Not just to take it back, but to change it. Um, Give it up if you want to change some things. Not just take it back, but change education. And there's a lot of people talking about change for education and reforming education. And some of it is for us, and some of it is not. And we need to be clear that everyone that talks about education reform is not talking about education for the people. Some of them are talking about education for profit. And they're turning high schools into charter schools and they're turning universities UC Berkeley into University of British Petroleum and this is not what we want and they put out I'm gonna share a poem with you all and this this is a response a couple years ago there was a movie that came out called waiting for Superman you all heard about this movie it's basically attack on teachers attack on unions and an attack on students and so I wrote a response to it and I'd like to share it with you if you, if you haven't checked out Waiting for Superman, it's basically a corporate attack on education. My man Rick Ayers had a nice poem, a nice piece, a nice essay. This is a poem about it as well. This is called Waiting for Superman in All the Wrong Places. This is for everyone who believes you can be more than just a drone. If Superman himself was a high school student, he would not be welcomed like a Hollywood star. A boy becoming a legend faster than a speeding bullet. Not exactly. If Superman himself was a high school student, he would show up for the first day of class and they would ask him for his proof of residency. He'd say he had no papers. His home planet destroyed by war, they'd call him an illegal alien and send him to remedial English. If Superman himself was a high school student, he would challenge his teachers about the laws of physics and why can't he learn his own history, his genius a mystery to them like his culture, his nation, too many questions and special powers, they'd say, we're sending you to special education. Forty students in a basement, budget deficit disorder, hook him on self-doubt and Adderall, goodbye imagination. If Superman was a high school student and his guidance counselor asked him, what do you want to be when you grew up, son? He would say, I want to stop bullets with my chest. I want to I want to heat cold apartments with my breath. I want to fly across the skies and save everyone fearing death. They would say, oh, well, maybe you could get a job at the airport. If Superman was a high school student, his best friend would be a punk rock chola named Louisa Lane. They would walk down the halls together. Her in black leather and silver hoop earrings, him in blue tights and red cape. Football players would ram him into metal lockers, call him Super Fag. His counselor would roll his eyes and say, it'd be easier for you if you wore jeans and a t-shirt. Don't you want to fit in? But Superman looks around and says, why would I want to fit into this? Mom working three jobs for Lex Luthor. Pops long gone, no man to look up to, so it's hard to be super. School, school doesn't see me for me, so it's hard to be a student. I want to be a good man, but they just keep trying to X me like a mutant. He knows he can be super, but high school wants him to be proficient, advanced or at least good enough so their API progress test scores go up. 
They test him till he's standard, clown him till he's straight, say no and no, and God damn it, I said no, till he accepts his fate. And he throws his cape in the closet, changes his tights for khakis, puts on black rim glasses he'll never need, goes to college in Metropolis, and becomes Clark Kent. Just no more Superman, just another faceless student drinking his way through a degree at the private, corporatized, public university. And still they come at him harder. Every tuition hike, his kryptonite. Every budget cut, an attack. How's a man supposed to fly when budget cuts? How's a man supposed to fly when student loans crush his back? But he goes on with his day, like we all do. Goes from class to cubicle from jail cell to coffin. This American life is death so more, but we all go through it so often, we don't know another way. And I thought that that is what education was for, to show us a new path, to give justice a new chance, to remind us that history is what we make with our own hands. We are all heroes here if you give us a chance. We are all dreamers here. Defer us and we'll blast. We are super people. We are super people. There's no scholarships for refugees, but we're still golden bears and raiders. That's why the S on my chest stands for suck it, you haters. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> That's why I burn my tie. One day I'll rise. Get that cape out the closet. You'll look up in the sky. What is that? Is that a bird? Is that a man? Now this is an educated man who relearned how to fly. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's march, let's keep this going, let's join up with Oakland, let's take it back and let's change education for the people, for the generations coming after us. Thank you. Yeah.